love YouTube. It's your girl, Kay Nicole, and you're stepping back into my closet. Today, we are not doing a fashion video, period. We're going to do a video of me telling my unpopular opinions. Make sure you like this video, comment, subscribe, share, do what you got to do. The disclaimer is, your girl is not trying to be picked. I know a lot of y'all going to watch this video and y'all going to swear, oh, she's trying to be picked, she's trying to be... No, y'all, this is literally how I be feeling about some of the stuff that be going on, for real. I don't usually say nothing because other people should be so closed-minded. Like, I feel like once I give these opinions, they're not going to change what you do at home. That's one thing. Number two, a lot of these opinions are coming from the stuff I see on Facebook. Like, I be scrolling on Facebook all day, and I get so tired of them arguing about so much stuff that just... What we arguing about? But I never give my opinion because I'm not going to be arguing with no 304s. It's like when you say something they don't like, they tell me I drop the address. Like, baby, we can't agree to disagree. So this is like my platform to where it's like if you click the video, you brought yourself into this so it won't be on me. So we're going to get right into it. Remember, it's just my opinion. It's just my thoughts. It's just how I feel about something. Shouldn't change how you feel about it. Agree to disagree. Okay? Y'all heard me. Y'all heard me loud and clear. My very first unpopular opinion is that wearing bunnies in public is not as bad as people try to make it seem. And I'm going to explain why, okay? It's certain places you do and don't go with a bunny on, period. I don't feel like it's bad for everything, though. Like, people just try to make it seem like you step out the house with a bunny, you're a ghetto, and that's not the case to me. Most times when I wear a bunny, it's to run somewhere. Like, I run to McDonald's, give me something to eat. I run to the store because I need one thing. It's like, if I'm running somewhere and I'm having a bad hair day, you going to talk about me if I go out looking crazy? So I can't go out in my bunny with it covered up. Like, under here is World War Three. If I was to go in the store with my hair looking a mess, you were still going to talk about me. I most likely is going to talk about me more and take pictures and sneak stuff and post it on TikTok. Look how this girl came in the store. So I feel like bunnies is like a safe place for a bad hair day. And bunnies don't always have to come from a bad hair day. It can come from just getting your hair done. Sometimes it be raining. Sometimes I'm literally finna go one place. I'm not going to take all 30 flicks rides out my out my hair just to go somewhere real quick. Like, sometimes, you know, you get your hair done for your birthday, but you need to run somewhere. Who finna take that down for that little errand? Who? Not me. I feel like airports is not ghetto. You're finna sit on a plane. You're not even at your destination yet. I don't need my hair out right now. It is what it is. Like, I feel like bunnies, they're deemed ghetto, but they're really not. Like, they're little to protect the hair. Don't boys wear do-rags? Oh, okay. So what makes a bunny ghetto? Because it's covering all of your hair. I just think the whole you shouldn't wear bunnies out in public thing is just so unnecessary and y'all just be doing too much. Now, yes, just like anything else, you wouldn't wear certain things to certain places. So, yes, a bunny shouldn't be worn to somewhere like an interview. You know, you shouldn't wear a bunny to your job. You shouldn't wear a bunny to your child's school, you know, to meet the principal, meet the teachers. Like, it's a certain place and thing for everything. But I feel like quick errands, quick airport, like, you going on the airport, you ain't at your destination yet. I don't need my hair down. So, it is what it is. So, my unpopular opinion is that bunnies are not ghetto. There is a certain place you should wear them to. But just wearing them out in public in general is not wrong. Nothing is wrong with that. One thing about me, if I'm going to McDonald's, if I'm going to the grocery store, if I'm running a quick errand and my hair just got done and I'm not taking these curls down, the bunny stays. Moving on. My second unpopular opinion is probably where I'm going to lose subscribers, viewers. My unpopular opinion is that talking to someone in a relationship is lame. I feel like if your biggest flex is messing with somebody's boyfriend or girlfriend, you should seek help immediately because you dropped your self-respect on the ground and you need to pick it back up. Playing with somebody else that's playing with somebody else is just so slot to me. It's so lame. It's so bottom of the barrel. It's 7 billion people on this earth and you choose the one in a relationship. Really? Out of all the people in the room... You pick the one with a girlfriend, and it don't matter if he willingly do what he do. It's about you, and y'all favorite excuses are, one, I'm young and turned. Oh, okay. Your second one is, I don't owe her or him no loyalty. Boo, you owe you loyalty. You owe you some respect. I get on Facebook every day, and somebody coming at another girl about messing with her dude, and everybody hyping up. Girl, you so lit, you so bold. Or y'all see one person pop out with somebody else's person. And then y'all post y'all. Y'all know how lame y'all are? Like, L-A-M-E, that's your name, boo. You're lame. I don't play like that. Maybe because, like, I'm the girl that'll be in the relationship. Anytime y'all want to come at another girl, y'all gonna, it's gonna be about a nigga for real. Anytime you have to do something with a girl, 
a girl make you mad, you finna go mess with her dude. You don't like how a girl do this, then the three, you finna go mess with Y'all are lying. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Every day you blog onto Facebook, you will see somebody. You gonna see somebody flexing about mess with somebody, baby daddy, messing with stay ex, still messing with somebody else, boyfriend. They literally, y'all make posts like later with somebody nigga. Just saw somebody. Like, what type of flex is this supposed to be? Because you're saying, I know he's touching, loving, kissing, hanging with, spending time with this person. But I'm going to still put myself in the equation. You know how nasty that is? And let's just say, hypothetically, y'all not doing all that together. You know that at the end of the day, he going to go back to this person. And you sitting there picking and choosing when you going to step in. And y'all might be like, well, why they don't never check the person? I'm going to get to that. But right now, we're talking about you. All the, I don't know, I don't owe his girlfriend no loyalty. You owe you loyalty. You owe you some respect or something. If you willingly choose to mess with somebody that you know, you know, we ain't talking about no other scenarios, you know is in a relationship, you need to seek help. Y'all be like, he just giving me money. Girl, and it's a 30 single people that you get some money from, that's what you looking for. But messing with somebody in a relationship is not it. Like, people that are mess with your dude, you find out she mess with your dude. You don't even be knowing the girl. She mess with your dude. She looking at you crazy. You messing with my man. I, what? Like, y'all be delusional. Like, it's sick. And that's why I said seek help. Think of it like this. You are cross-contaminated. I don't even care if it's spending time. You cross-spending time. You you into some time he had to cut off and lie to the girlfriend just to get you a little time in, just for him to go back to the girlfriend. You can see how that sound is doing this right here. You cross contaminate, you're nasty. You need to stop right now. You messing with somebody man right now, you need to stop because it's not the place you think it is. I'm not as bold as y'all think y'all are because soon as somebody asks who, now is you just speaking in general or now it's inbox me or now it's that. I feel like if you're bold enough to post that you with somebody, nigga, Make sure you tell the, the person whose nigga it is, at least. Since, since you you know, you want to make it so global, you want to make it so known. Tell the girl, why y'all never do that part? Can I lie? Can I fucking lie? And again, you gonna hit her with the, you don't owe nobody no loyalty. So what you owe yourself? What, what you giving yourself? What points are you giving yourself? Okay, yeah. I be so disgusted. I be so just cringe. Like, this what y'all do? This your flex? Oh, okay. My next unpopular opinion is that boo, babe, love, all of that stuff is not as professional as y'all think it is, okay? And it's mostly for the girls, too. I'm not bashing you if you do it. Because for me, I feel like there's more so a sense of comfort. Like, y'all be like, hey, boo, it's so-and-so. I feel like that's a girl thing, but it's not professional, okay? And the reason I'm bringing this up is because some posts went viral about that. This girl was like, y'all don't have to call me boo, bae, love, and all of that. I felt her. But the other 3,000 people that shared it was like, well, what y'all want me to say? Hey, What's your profanity? And it's like, y'all be so, y'all mind so closed, it's bad. Like, girl, you know what she mean. She just saying, you don't have to call me boo, love, bae, to feel like you're being professional. A hey, how you doing? A hey, I offer this service, it's just fine. I'm not complaining about it, I'm just saying it's not needed. Like, I got where the girl was coming from, because I be thinking that too. The hey, boo, I don't need it. I just need you to say, hey, how you doing? Or hey, I can do this for you. Or hey, this is my prices. That's it. I call my boyfriend, boo. My mama call me love. You know, people in relationships say, babe, y'all don't realize those are intimate terms. And yes, it might not be that deep to y'all, but it might be that deep to other people. And it's just that. My whole thing is, it's not as professional as y'all think it might come off, but nobody is complaining about it, okay? So if you ever said it, don't do too much. All I'm saying is, that's not literally professional. Like, y'all be like, I'm trying to be professional and... Y'all get offended by anything. It's not that. It's just not professional. Those are intimate terms. You call your man or your girlfriend boo and babe in love. So, yeah, anybody that's ever called me that, I don't get offended. I know this girl's thing of making somebody else comfort. It's just not a sign of professionalism. You don't go to an office and they say, hey, babe, um, what's your appointment with Dr. So-and-so? It's, hey, how you doing? You have an appointment today? And this is just as professional, just as respectful, just as cool as it needs to be. Y'all get the difference in what I'm saying? Like, nothing is wrong with it. But using those terms are not as professional as they y'all think they are. They're actually not professional at all. Let's just be clear. But if you have a bond with your clients, use it. Be great. Do that. All I'm saying is, regarding the post, I get where that girl was coming from. Because everybody don't want to be called boo and babe. It's the greeting, period. Now, when you say you coming, you still coming, that's a whole other conversation. But just saying, hey, 
you come into your appointment today, that's fine. You don't have to call me your boo, your babe, your love. None of that. It's just not needed. My next unpopular opinion is that I would prefer lash strips over extensions. First of all, extensions take a lot of work. It takes a lot of patience. It costs a lot of money. If you prefer getting lash extensions, that is a-okay. I prefer strips because one, they're three ninety nine at the beauty supply. They're already styled. I literally can pick. I remember the numbers. I like. I can pick what I want to do, and I can rewear these all the time. I clean that glue off, put them back on. Like it's so simple. Three ninety nine to look good. Extensions is just you got to sit on that table that long. They cost a lot, and I'm not investing what you want to invest in because I buy fashion over every day. Some other people might not do that, so you know. Be open-minded about what I'm saying, okay? I'm not knocking anyone's hustle because you're going to get it or you're not. A lot of people actually seem to be looking like big old bugs. Like, y'all eyes be half closed. And it's just not a good look to me. I don't like all the extra. Y'all putting stickers on them now. Wait, like, it's not that. Like, I feel like people try too hard to be different sometimes and it's not that serious. Lash strips are just so much cheaper, easier, quick, efficient. You can do them yourself. It takes five minute max if it's not sticking. Like, I just love lash strips over extension. Most people take them out the incorrect way. Now your eyes messed up and you trying to come at the girl you just gave all your money to. So it's just so much to come with them that I just don't care to go through. I love my I Envy number 20, number 1, and number 17 from the Beauty Supply $3.99 a piece. I be having them for so long. I, I clean them out real good, get the mascara off, pull the glue off, and I re-rock them anytime I want. I just feel like they're more effective in my day-to-day. -day. I just feel like lashes shouldn't cost that much, but... I understand the work and how much their products cost, so I understand why, but I feel like, like, I wouldn't have made that an option. I would have kept the beauty supply lashes and sold those if I could, but hey, everybody got their own hustle, and girls are getting them, so I'm not stopping anything. My opinion on, let's just say, getting your body done, not even a BBL, because let y'all argue, this person got shots, this person got, getting your body done, getting your body temporary, okay? This is so sensitive, because y'all are so dramatic. So I'm just going to make this quick. I feel like when you always had an insecurity about something and you have the opportunity to fix it, you do that. You do what make you happy. Because one thing about it, nobody walking around with my teeth. One thing about it, when I get my money, these teeth, they're getting done, okay? I'm not changing my teeth because of what so-and-so said. I literally hate seeing pictures with my mouth open. When somebody genuinely does something because that's something they just, they can't accept about them. Like, that's something they've been wanting. That's one thing, okay? The thing that gets me with people right now, though, y'all too busy trying to look like the next person. Let's just say, okay, we all go get our body done. If 30 of y'all in line go take Ari body, Ari is no longer unique. Imagine living wanting to look just like somebody else. That's my problem with those. Having an hourglass shape, coke bottle shape, whatever you want to call it, used to be unique. When 30 people in a room, 25 of them bought that shape and 5 of them came natural, it's nothing special anymore. And I know y'all might be like, that's dumb, but that's how I look at it. I used to have, like, my shape, boom, it's a skinny girl. <laughs> they looking at me like, I ain't never seen that before. Or my shape used to be rare, like, in high school. Like, when I first came out with them hips and that little belly, you feel me? They was rocking with me. When 30 other girls in the room got it, I ain't special no more. I'm pointing out the fact that the individuality of this gets stripped out of the conversation once everybody want to look the exact same. When they get on Instagram and they want to look just like her on Instagram, they taken away from her. Now it's two of y'all. Now they can choose who they want versus somebody being, you know, that special cup of tea. You only get that out of her, like, all of that go away. So I really could care less what people do with their body. But I do kind of think comparison is stealing everybody joy because y'all see this person. And I do it myself. Because, like, hey, I see somebody with the stomach that I want and my stomach hanging over my pants. I'm going to be like, I want my stomach like her. But at the same time, I have to tell myself, I'm me and she is she. My stomach going to look how my stomach need to look. Hers going to look how hers need to look. So I feel like when it comes to that stuff, that's the insecurity you always wanted to work on. You want to fix this one thing. But when you doing it to look like other people, it's just like, all right. You, you too obsessed with how somebody else looking. And I feel like that's when it go left. Like, you don't got to look like her. When everybody walking around with a booty shaped the same, nothing is special about it. And nothing about you stands out anymore because now all y'all look the same. We can line you up. All y'all look the same. This next unpopular opinion, 
got y'all in a chokehold, but I'm finna help y'all get out of it, okay? What is the obsession with dating hood, niggas? Please stop. How can you love somebody who you literally have to worry about is gonna be alive the next day? That's something you worry about. Somebody who swear is beef on site, y'all can be on a date and his ops is me on site is on site. Now you risking your life too. And like, really? This gonna make or break it right here. You date a hood nigga right now. Ask him if the street's calling and if you calling, who he gonna pick up for and who he gonna run to. Stop this video if you date a hood nigga. Ask him that right now. And I just want to see because too many of y'all be riding for some boys that ain't going to ride for you the same. If his friends call and you calling and he go to them friends, it speaks volume. And don't be like, I know it come with it. No, you don't know it come with it because now you're saying, for this man, I'm going to be a target too. You need to talk to someone and get the help that you need because ain't no way that's what you're choosing in life. I feel like all hood dudes should be single don't be taking no girl through no trauma worried about where you at what you doing because you picking the streets over her y'all be in the middle of the day somebody shooting out because he said that it's on site i don't even play like that like you got the fake hood niggas these days so like you got the ones who bout it but really not about it so i know some of y'all don't be worried about y'all niggas y'all know he not coming like that but i'm talking about y'all that really be like and let me tell y'all what this turned into all y'all pretty girls is going for that all y'all girls with a little class is going for that Y'all make more niggas want to be like that. If they, if, if they see that he can bag this pretty girl, now he finna put on this act. So y'all, now y'all got boys that's not even like that, playing like they like that so they can get these girls. And then they look stupid. Now they life in danger because they talking about they about it and they just simply not about it. It's so many boys that's like that that will literally tell you that he's going to choose everything else over you. And you go for it. And I just feel like, no. We're not going for that 2022. If you dating a boy that's going to put the streets, going to put his homies, going to put all that before you, or he risking your life, you need to go. These boys that put on this front, it don't give what y'all think it give. I feel like too many times boys post too much to prove to another man, and it's giving gay. It's, it's, not, it's not right. I literally have mamas who trying to get you on the right. You won't even do it for your mama, but you will do it for your gang, and it's so gay to me. Like, what? Like, I have never seen such a big wave of young males that try so hard to prove to the next nigga how hard they coming. Boys be knowing they not like that. Let me tell you how I know boys be knowing they like that. I have seen so many boys make a post that say something like this. They'll be like, nigga, no, I don't fight. Come see about this, whatever gun's called. And it be like, so you're admitting that you're lame. You know that if you needed to fight, you wouldn't be able to fight. So you're going to kill someone because you can't fight your own battles. Oh, okay. It's giving weak. It's different if, like, gangs were, like, fraternities. Like, okay, everybody got their different joint. And they know how to be in the same place at the same time. And they know beef because it's literally supposed to be different brotherhoods. No, y'all literally make ops for life. Imagine living 50, just, just say, 50 years of your life. And you always walk around knowing you got ops somewhere that can pop up anywhere. Bro, that's scary. Another reason I don't like the new the new hood boys, whatever y'all want to call it, is because y'all don't even go by real code no more. Y'all hurting girls. What what you hurting girls for? Y'all y'all rob old women. This this gangster to y'all. This what? All I know is y'all too try hard for me. That everyday niggas proving themselves to the next dude is so it's so low. Like it don't even do what y'all think it do when it comes to girls i come for y'all because y'all be the type of people in my dms i don't even play like that i don't that don't even attract me this one right here this probably gonna be right when y'all don't like me no more okay and again when i say this this does not affect how you live nor you know anybody else okay but i feel like see-through clothes are distasteful for me i won't be wearing certain things like, and when I say see-through, I mean clothes that were made to be see-through, okay? Not some you might buy and you find out the quality a little messed up. Now, I still probably won't wear that. But I'm just saying, clothes that are made to see your genitalia, I think that's the word, is a no for me. And let me tell you why. For one, what my Spanish teacher used to tell me, she used to be like, leave, leave something to the imagination, Kyla. She'd be like, you don't have to show all of your goodies. And I was like, you know what? You right, Miss Ortiz. And that's why I ride with you. Because I didn't use to wear see-through clothes. I used to wear them, no, thick girl pants. Because I feel like that was the only pants that, wore, that showed my shape. So I used to wear them, like, once a week. <laughs> okay. That's not a flex, though. So don't forget that. But anyway, 
y'all don't leave nothing to the imagination you used to have to wonder what a girl looked like outside her clothes baby y'all show it for free why are you not getting paid you know and even getting paid is a little too far at our age but hey <laughs> and let me tell you why it don't work for me when I walk in public, I know I'm not supposed to care about other people's opinions, but to a certain point, I feel like everybody should have a certain level of shame. Like, you should be shamed to do certain stuff. When you go to church, you don't wear a crop top. You know, you don't wear your jeans. They got holes, big holes all in them. Now, you come as you are, but I'm just saying, when you naturally get ready for church, it's certain things you don't do because you have a certain amount of shame. You know, you'll be shamed you walk in that church with your breast out, with your, you know. I feel like you should have a certain level of shame with anything you do. And when you wear something out in public, a lot of y'all are mothers. Let's just say, you know you shouldn't go to your child's school in your in your club clothes. Because a certain level of shame is stopping you from doing it. You know better. So, when I, I'm saying all this to say, I can't walk out in public with them mesh leggings and my entire buddies out. And I know it's a possibility I'm walking by somebody daddy. I'm walking by somebody grandma, somebody mama, somebody auntie, a pastor maybe. My, my family. I don't want to go around my family and they know what my butt cheeks look like. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't stomach that. I like to think that's me and then walk past somebody. Mama, like, when I get fine to go out, and I mean, am I fully clothed? Or now I might have a little cross top on or whatever. When I go out, I get the... Like, I get the feeling naked. You know how you be looking cute in the mirror? Then when you go out, you be feeling naked. Imagine actually being naked. Like, that's scary to me. You Y'all went... Y'all stepping outside? With y'all entire sculpted butt out for the world to see with no shame. And it's just like, whoa. And then y'all be having audacity like the butt not already out. Y'all take y'all pictures and everybody who ever wore them bent over. So not only could we see the cheeks, now you showing us your crack. Like, come on, y'all. Like, I get it. Live your life. You young, you turn, you do what you do. But it's like... Nobody live with that little bit of shame no more to where it keep you from doing certain things. I don't know. I still got that shame. I still got a lot of it too. Like, I don't even like to go around my folks, like, with my chest out. Nobody ever looked at me. Nobody ever touched me. Nobody ever made me feel uncomfortable. And I thank God for that. And I pray it continue to stay that way. But what I'm saying is, it's certain things you just don't wear. Like, y'all got me with them leggings. And that's a lot of other stuff. When y'all wear them shirts... With no bras, this the shirts is literally see through, and y'all just let y'all breasts just hang, and y'all put a little stick on y'all nipple. That's distasteful. Like they don't even be cute. When y'all got them shorts, there was a trend that they literally look like underwear, the little ruffles, and y'all entire butt cheeks hanging out. That's distasteful. Like this, this, where like, hmm? You can be fine. You can be sexy. Cause I do my pose. Don't get it wrong. I am not being a pick me. I am not perfect. I wear my leggings, I wear my short shorts, I do my little poses. But your butt cheeks being out for anybody, I mean, you pass by, anybody that can see the picture, to see is just like, whoa. Like, how how raw and transparent we getting. I'm taking being comfortable too, too far. It's like, all right, now we walk around with our butts out, y'all. Like, y'all ain't even at the strip club. Like, you ain't even going nowhere where you expecting it to be, y'all. This is how y'all go. Like, imagine you going in the restaurant with them mesh leggings on. And I ain't talking about the ones with the built-in underwear were on your side. I'm talking about y'all with the cheeks out there. You go in the restaurant, everybody turn their head. Y'all don't be, y'all just walk with confidence, baby. I want that type of confidence one day because I don't got it. That's, that's too far to me. My opinion, you wear what you want to wear. Because let me tell you something, them outfits be looking raw. I, I was hesitant about ordering them leggings, but all I could think about is my entire butt cheeks being exposed to everybody I'm going to walk past. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I, I admire y'all. I couldn't do it. The fits be hard until y'all turn around. It's like, dang, you had to make the fit lit by showing all that, though. Like, come on, bro. Like, some of y'all had the DC to have the black underwear. I ain't talking about no black thong because it was still out. All y'all hit with that little cat. Y'all could have hit the booty at least. Yeah, I hope this trend burn. I hope it's done. It ain't about no insecurities. It ain't about no what another dude to say, what a dude to see. It ain't about none of that. It's about the fact that nobody got a little shame to not want to go out with their whole boot out. Booty to their toot out. Y'all make anything that was supposed to be for private so public to where it ain't special no more everybody done seen it thank y'all for tuning in i love y'all and i will see y'all next time